Hello and welcome, Dave and Joan Maroney here, your Mother of Mercy Messengers for the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. We're so glad to be here with you for another Divine Mercy prayer meeting and Holy Hour of Adoration for our nations. And we are entering, we have entered into the month of June, the month of the Sacred Heart, and we are dedicating this month's uh, novena, not just for our country, for our native lands, but in a particular way for a Eucharistic revival and especially Eucharistic revival for the priests. It's got to start there. They are under attack and we know it. And without them, we do not have Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. And this week, we were reminded yesterday by Gloria on the Feast of uh, the Sacred Heart, which we'll be celebrating on Friday. It's a special day of prayer for the priests. So we decided let's just do this whole novena, particularly lifting up uh, our priests um, to protect them from all evil, to instill in them greater love and devotion for Jesus truly present, who they call down from heaven into the hosts, and for, um, for greater reverence and uh, what, whatever else they need to help them in their priesthood. So we thank you Amen. all for joining us and for being here. We'll start with the uh, are we going to do a quick prayer or just sure. go straight to adoration? In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we turn to Our Lady, Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We prepare our hearts to be in the presence of Jesus as we remember Brother Lauren Faria. We miss you. And here we go into the chapel, halfway around the world from where we are in Texas uh, to Vilnius, Lithuania, where it is just past midnight, so it's already June 3rd there in Lithuania. And we start this time of adoration with spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. And we'll go straight into the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. We are praying the glorious mysteries of the rosary here on this Sunday, June 2nd, 2024. And we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. And from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And for our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now to lead us in the first Glorious mystery of the Most Holy Rosary, Donna will be leading and Wheezy will be responding. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Because he was a man like us, Christ truly died. Because he was also God, he rose victorious and made it possible for us to share his triumph over sin and death. Fruit of the mystery, faith. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, 
Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord. So then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and he sits at the right hand of God for the virtue of hope. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Third glorious mystery, descent of the Holy Spirit. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim, through of the mystery, love of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against <clears throat> us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit 
of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at <clears> our <throat> death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the <clears throat> hour of our Amen. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary. Authentic faith looks forward to having a glorified body. Fruit of the mystery, grace of a happy death. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth mystery of the glorious mysteries, the crowning of the Blessed Virgin. Mary, you were crowned queen of heaven by your divine son to the great joy of all the saints. Fruit of the mystery, eternal happiness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our light, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. And let us pray, O God, whose, whose only begotten, begotten Son, Son, by his, his life, life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we, we beseech, beseech thee, that, that by meditating, meditating upon, upon these mysteries of the, of the Most Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. The intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and, and ever, ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Thank you, everyone. So now we have the prayer to St. Joseph Gloria. Uh, your microphone, uh, Gloria. <laughs> yeah. To you, O oh blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation. And having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you, graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, 
ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be propitious to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggles with the power of darkness. And as once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now too protect God's holy church from the snares of the, the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die a holy death, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you, Jesus. We turn our attention, Jesus, to you, body, blood, soul, and divinity here on the feast of Corpus Christi. As you give us yourself in the Holy Eucharist to consume, to eat your flesh, oh Jesus. Amen. Amen. And now we call upon all the saints imagine how many saints are in heaven all you holy saints in heaven we call upon you to pray for us and and all of them that receive strength through the body and blood of our lord jesus christ to live lives of holiness okay so cheryl and uh, louise will be doing the first half and then rita and marie the second half, thank you. The litany of the saints. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, Pray for us. Saint Raphael. Pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels. Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets. Pray for us. Saint Peter. Pray for us. Saint Paul. Pray for us. Saint Andrew, pray for us. Saint James, pray for us. Saint John, pray for us. Saint Thomas, pray for us. Saint James, pray for us. Saint Philip, pray for us. Saint Bartholomew, pray for us. Saint Matthew, pray for us. Saint Simon, Pray for us. Saint Jude. Pray for us. Saint Matthias. Pray for us. Saint Barnabas. Pray for us. Saint Luke. Pray for us. Saint Mark. Pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists. Pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord. Pray for us. All you holy innocents, pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Vincent, pray for us. Saint Fabian and Sebastian, pray for us. Saint John and Paul, pray for us. Saint Cosmos and Damian. Pray for us. All you holy martyrs. Pray for us. Saint Sylvester. Pray for us. Saint Gregory. Pray for us. Saint Ambrose. Pray for us. 
St. Augustine. Pray for us. St. Jerome. Pray for us. St. Martin. Pray for us. St. Nicholas. Pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors. Pray for us. All you holy doctors. Pray for us. St. Anthony. Pray for us. St. Benedict. Pray for us. St. Bernard. Pray for us. St. Dominic. Pray for us. St. Francis. Pray for us. St. Pio. Pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites. Pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits. Pray for us. St. Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. St. Agatha. Pray for us. St. Lucy. Pray for us. St. Agnes. Pray for us. St. Cecilia. Pray for us. St. Anastasia. Pray for us. St. Catherine. Pray for us. St. Claire. Pray for us. St. Elizabeth. Pray for us. St. Faustina. Pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows. Pray for us. All you holy saints of God. Pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil. Lord, save your people. From all sin. Lord, save your people. From your wrath. Lord, save your people. From a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people. From the snares of the devil. Lord, save your people. From anger, hatred, and all ill will. Lord, save your people. From the spirit of uncleanness. Lord, save your people. From lightning and tempest. Lord, save your people. From the scourge of earthquake. Lord, save your people. From plague, famine, and war. Lord, save your people. From everlasting death. Lord, save your people. By the mystery of the Holy Incarnation. Lord, save your people. By your coming. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and holy fasting. Lord, save your people. By your cross and passion. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your holy resurrection. Lord, save your people. By your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people. By the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. On the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the church all those who are straying and bring all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Bear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer of St. Saint Saint Gertrude the Great. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. You expired, Jesus, <clears throat> but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. Eileen? Oh, yes. Um, we'll do the, uh, Helen will do the novena prayers uh, first. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. No problem. The second day. Today, bring to me the souls of priests and religious and immerse them in my unfathomable mercy. Most merciful Jesus, from whom comes all that is good, increase your grace in men and women consecrated to your service, that they may perform worthy works of mercy and that all who see them may glorify the Father of mercy who is in heaven. Eternal Father, Turn your merciful gaze upon the company of chosen ones in your vineyard, upon the souls of priests and religious, and endow them with the strength of your blessing. For the love of the heart of your son, in which you are enfolded, impart to them your power and light, that they may be able to guide others in the way of salvation, and with one voice sing praise to your boundless mercy for ages without end. Amen. Now you expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls <clears throat> and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> born of the Virgin Mary, 
suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God. The Father, Alm <clears throat> the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dear and beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us, and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. <clears throat> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal life grant unto them, O Lord, and may perpetual light shine upon them. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, who from to be a Jesus confio in ti. Nome del Padre, Filio e Spirito Santo. Amen. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all. Yes, yeah, beautiful. beautiful prayers. Thank you so much. Remember, whenever we pray the chaplet, the Lord says we are bringing mankind closer to His merciful heart. 
So we thank the Lord for this grace and, and all the promises affiliated with the chaplet and reminding too with this stormy season that we're in that Faustina was told one time when a bad storm was coming, he told her, pray the chaplet and the storm will cease. So thank God for this, this beautiful prayer. All right, and we're going to close with uh, Michael Laird leading us in the prayer to Our Lady of America. Thanks, Mike. O oh, Immaculate Mother, Queen of our country, op open our hearts, our homes, and our land to the coming of Jesus, your divine Son. With him, reign over us, O Heavenly Lady, so pure and so bright with the radiance of God's light shining in and about you. Be our leader against the powers of evil set upon resting the world of souls, redeemed at such a great cost by the sufferings of your Son and of yourself in union with him from that same savior who loves us with infinite charity. We gather about you, O chaste and holy mother, virgin immaculate, patroness of our beloved land, determined to fight under your banner of holy purity against the wickedness that would make all the world an abyss of evil, without God and without your love and maternal care. We consecrate our hearts, our homes, our land, to your most pure heart, O great Queen, that the kingdom of your Son, our Redeemer, and our God may be firmly established in us. We ask no special sign of you, sweet Mother, for we believe in your great love for us, and we place in you our, internal our entire confidence. We promise to honor you by faith, love, and the purity of our lives according to your desire. Reign over us, then, O Virgin Immaculate, with your Son, Jesus Christ. May his divine heart and your most chaste heart be ever enthroned and glorified amongst us. Use us, your children of America, as your instruments in bringing peace among men and nations. Work your miracles of grace in us so that we may be a glory to the blessed Trinity who created, redeemed, and sanctifies us. May your valiant spouse, St. Joseph, with the holy angels and saints, assist you and us in renewing the face of the earth. Then with, when our work is over, come, O holy Immaculate Mother, and as our victorious queen, lead us to the eternal kingdom where your son reigns forever as king. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mike. Our Lady of America, pray for us and the whole world if you're not familiar that prayer was dictated by our lady of america she appeared to sister mary ephraim in the our lady of america apparitions so we take a moment of silence as we ponder here on this corpus christi sunday body and blood of jesus truly present, alive, a beating heart, pulsing blood in the Eucharist, in the monstrance, on the altar, there in Vilnius, Lithuania, with the original Divine Mercy painting enshrined and displayed above the tabernacle there in this Divine Mercy shrine in Vilnius. So, a few moments of silence.
sacramentum venere mucenui et anticum documentum no voce dar ritui prestet fide supplementum sensum defectui genitori genitoque lauset jubilatio Salus ana virtus quoque, sit et benedictio, procedenti abutroque, comparsi laudatio. Amen. Love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful family here online. I just have to tell you from my heart, you know, it's it's uh, so special to see your faces, to hear your voices as we gather together and pray. It's really a community. It's just amazing. And so if this is, uh, if you've joined us today for your first time, thank you for joining us. And we hope you'll come back and you can get connected. If you're listening on YouTube or Rumble, you can get connected at divinemercyforamerica.org. Click on the membership tab and we will send you the Zoom link to join this uh, meeting live that we hold every month from the 1st through the 9th. So we do a novena at the beginning of each month, a novena of these holy hours. So why there. do we why do we do this? Well, it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> it is fun. It's beautiful. We do this because uh, Jesus gave St. Faustina or asked her to, to do these four novenas uh, that, that we're doing uh, in for her country of Poland in the 1930s at different places in the diary. At one place, Jesus said, I want you to gather the sisters in the wards and uh, pray the chaplet of, of the Divine Mercy, a novena of the chaplet of, of Divine Mercy for your country of Poland. So. We're praying for our country, those of us here in the United States. Uh, there's regulars from Canada that join us and regulars from other countries in Africa and uh, around the world that join us. So we pray for all the countries in the world. All right, so this is the uh, feast of uh, Corpus Christi. So I hope you all had a blessed feast. Looks like some people had some really nice yeah. celebrations today. And if you join late, the other thing we're doing this novena of June, uh, as we are here in the Eucharistic Revival leading toward the Eucharistic Congress that will take place next month in Indianapolis, we thought it would be a good idea to offer this novena for in a particular way for our priests, for the priests to have uh, a greater love and devotion for Jesus um, in the Blessed Sacrament. And so we thank you for joining us and, and offering up to keep this as a time, you know, pray for them whenever you can, as often as you can, starting with your own parish priests. Gloria has reminded us to pray for our bishops and, of course, our popes. I don't know, is Mike still here? Michael Gutierrez, are you still here? I had a question for him. Maybe someone else with a military background. Um, what's what's the question? There you go. So, Michael, I was trying to think we are in a battle, right? The spiritual battle that's a Joan of Arc coming out of me. And so I, I don't understand how the military is organized, but that well. But I thought, all right, if you look at the Pope, like if it's military, the Pope would be commander in chief, right? Yeah. Yes. And then the bishops, would they be the generals? Well, the, the uh, cardinals are the uh, two and three star generals. 
Okay. And then, and then you have the archbishops would be like the brigadier generals. And then you have colonels. All the, all the dioceses are headed by colonels. And then you have the majors and the captains and lieutenants who are all the priests and the deacons. You were a major, wow. right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so how's that for an answer, Joan? Gosh, so it's like, like have I prepped him for it? I think you've gone through this before. Okay, so the Pope is the. I'm going to pick take notes. He's the um, commander in chief, uh -huh. and then the cardinals are yeah. the three and four stars. Or he said, yeah. right? Yeah. And then. And then you have the uh, archbishops. They're the brigadiers. Brigadiers, okay. And what does a, what is a brigadier? Is brigadier that, general. He's a one star. He's a one star. He's a junior junior general. A junior general. Archbishops are junior generals. I wonder if they'd mm -hmm. like that title. Anyway, <laughs> and then um, the colonels. All the colonels are the bishops. That they had the uh, the dioceses. Okay, that had the dioceses. Okay. Yeah. All the colonels are in charge of the bases. Oh, oh see, okay. see, I don't know any of this. Mm -hmm. Helen, you probably know it. I know she's a military woman in charge of the bases. So I get it. All right. And then the majors and the captains are the priests and the deacons. Yeah, so a major that. is a, above a captain, right? So that would be the priests. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have lieutenant colonels in between the colonel and the major and, and okay a lieutenant colonel yeah so would they who would they be like maybe at the, the monsignors the <laughs> monsignors, monsignors or deans of a like a you yeah. know diocese or broken down. okay yeah. wow okay yeah i know i know that different branches of the military have different names for the these different positions so which branch yeah. of the military is this are these yeah, names? the Army and the Air Force ha and the Marine Corps has those names. The Navy, they have uh, they have chiefs and they have uh, what you call it, uh, um, admirals. And the admirals are the like the general equivalents and that sort of stuff. The captain of a ship, he's he's like a colonel. He, he wears the same rank, but uh, he is in charge of the ship big ships well because that's like a base yeah i get, I, I get yeah. that all right okay so we got to pray for all of them but if we didn't have those <coughs> majors and those captains those priests and deacons leading the then you have what's after that then you just have your your infantry or uh that's you john the regular well, people you have a lot of the zebras i call them zebras the people with all the stripes Oh, <laughs> the, the, they call them the backbone of the the military. Who's the backbone of the of the church? A child, the honey. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? It, the laity. <laughs> We're the zebras, the backbone. Yeah. Yeah, that's us, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's uh, it, it, Michael. You you've obviously thought about this before, huh? No, not really. Really? <laughs> it just makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write it down and get with you because I think it'd be a great article. Gloria's got her hand up. Yes, ma'am. And she's waving too. <laughs> um, so I maybe maybe Michael or someone else can answer, and I don't know if this has been mentioned on any of your other meetings, but I thought recently I saw an announcement about um, that Catholic chaplains were not were no longer being allowed or no longer getting paid or whatever the military was kind of like doing away with Catholic chaplains and maybe it was just on a certain base um, uh, like a really um, significant place it just yeah it was really so odd and then I think um, so the the head of the Catholic military was going to um, try to appeal because they or, or one of the senators or something saying that it's um, doesn't uh, support our religious rights 
or the, the re religious rights of the military men and women who want, who need to be spiritually served? Uh, the head of the USCCB, uh, Timothy Berg Broglio or something like that, he is the uh, head of the uh, military uh, archdiocese. And uh, he's the one that you're saying that he's trying to fight that that problem. I've noticed that in the different parishes uh, on military bases, they are no longer active duty uh, priests. And uh, a lot of them have moved on. And I see that a lot of priests from Africa taking uh, those places and they're not active duty military, they're just priests. So I think that's part of the problem. Does that mean they get paid differently? So, or, you well, know. What happens is a priest becomes a chaplain and he becomes active duty like uh, like uh, um, Capon and, uh, and uh, what's his name, uh, Capadano. They, they were uh, active duty priests on active duty and they got paid uh, by the rank. I think both of them, uh, uh, Capon and Cabadana were both captains. They would receive captain's pay. Some priests, if they had the vow of poverty, like one priest that I knew from Mexico, he was a canon lawyer. All his pay, <clears throat> all his pay went to his bishop and he had to petition his bishop for money to to subside to so subsist in because he he did not get paid he all his money went to the bishop but generally they do receive the entire pay my understanding is uh archbishop uh, gustavo does not support the uh, military chaplaincy because when they retire from the military they don't want to come back to active priestly service. And he's very upset that you let them go for 20 years, they get the retirement, come back, they're still young, but they're not wanting to become uh, active priests in the diocese. So he doesn't support it. And I can't blame him for that reason, but they really should, they should be active priests till the age of 75. What about the benefit of them uh, being um, active military? Do, do they need that because they have to be submissive to directives? Um, yeah, yeah. Know, there's a the there's a, still a rank structure in the military. Uh, priests could become colonels and still be a priest, or just a regular priest. And like the bishop uh, of the military services or the different services. He is a uh, either a full bird colonel or a general already at that post. Like uh, Timothy Broglio, he's he's a general. But what happens is that uh, the priests they have to maintain a military uh, education, military bearings, and all that sort of stuff. And uh, they do have the the right to the military hospital and all the uh, benefits like regular GIs. What, what, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah Helen, go ahead. Chime um, in. First of all, uh, all of our military chaplains came to us from the diocese. The uh, diocese has to release that that individual priest so they're all priests when they come on active duty. And we actually have a captain here uh, who as a soldier went through West Point and uh, graduated. He came back on active duty and is now a captain here at Fort Belvoir. But uh, our problem with the military chaplains is exactly what you have off, off base is the shortage of priests because uh, back probably 2010 or so, 
we had about 370 Catholic chaplains in all the military services. First of all, by the way, Navy doesn't have chaplains. Their, their uh, chaplains are provided by, I'm sorry, Marines don't have chaplains. Theirs are provided by the Navy. But uh, now we have fewer than 50 Catholic chaplains military wide. So for the most part, they're putting them overseas as much as they can because those soldiers, military individuals uh, have much less access to the chapels. I have four chapels here I could go to when my base is closed or when my church is not servicing at Belvoir. But overseas, it's much more difficult. So we are actually, as she was saying right at the beginning, we are in great, great, uh, we're leaving uh, one of our chaplains who is a Lieutenant Colonel is retiring because he's 68 years old. And he is finally gonna get a retirement, although he started as a National Guard soldier uh, chaplain. Um, down south somewhere, but anyway. Uh, and then our other chaplain, the captain, is going over to Germany. So we are actually right now at the end of June facing no chaplain at Fort Belvoir, Virginia. And I think we have probably almost the largest Catholic uh, po population in the United yeah. States. Now, I'm not positive of that, but of course, again, uh, just for an example, our elementary school has over 400 people, 400 children, uh, K through six. So very well populated. But again, our shortage relates to the lack of priests, America wide, worldwide, as far as I understand it. So it's a problem. So what's the name of the captain that uh, you're talking about, the priest that uh, went to West Point? Pardon? The name of the captain, the priest that went to West Point. That's retiring or going went to West Point. Uh, okay. Alex Scott. He's okay, actually because... one of six children. All his brothers and sisters also graduated from West Point. Yeah, we so, have uh, one here in very San special. Antonio. Their dad, their dad was a general. Yeah, we general, have one, uh, here, one here in San Antonio the same way. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. And uh, we're under real, real prayer needs. And yeah. yes, Jesus is in charge. So help us. <laughs> and I also Thank heard. You. I also heard that at least at one base or something that they're they they now have um, ceremonies or something for witches. So oh, yeah, the Wiccans. Not here. Not here. Yeah. The Air Force so, Academy because yeah, of the president. If, so if you think about it, it's like uh, the the parish schools that used to be open and all all kinds of kids could attend. They didn't have to be Catholic. The it was a real catechesis for non-Catholics to see the example and the the quality of living. Same thing I hear about military. You know, they when these uh, non-Catholic uh, soldiers or uh, military, they need someone to talk to, they'll often go to the Catholic chaplain. And boy, do they get a, you know, excellent um, uh, spiritual advice and support and then, um, and uh, witnesses. And so, you know, that they can end up being Catholic. They, they, they'll they take rosaries when rosaries are given to the military, even though they're, they're not Catholic, uh, saint medals, you know, so we can be such a good influence if if we're there and visible. Yeah, it's it's really hard. No wow, question that's a big, big, yeah. big, big uh, subject. I mean, gosh, you guys. Yeah, I heard of a new a whole uh, lot. A seminary and he'll be... Uh, He's going to be a military chaplain um, from a, a beautiful yeah. Catholic family. Yeah. So and as Laurie from New York pointed out, uh, Tom. Father Matt Tomney, the uh, mm -hmm. who is the current rector of the National Shrine of Divine Mercy, a Marian father, he's uh, 
he's going to be a military chaplain. I don't know where he is in that process or, mm -hmm. you know, how that yeah. works. But what's the last name, Father? Or, um, Tommy. Tommy. Okay. No, he's in um, Stockbridge right now. He's yeah. in Stockbridge. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Peter, yeah, we a have a seminary and uh, service on the 15th of June uh, in the Basilica for the Catholic University in this area. And uh, one of them is uh, headed toward the chaplaincy, but they have to serve in the home parish, their home diocese for three years before they can come to the military. So, uh, so it's oh. years oh. down the road. <laughs> oh, that's what they said that's with Father perfect. Matt. Yeah. yeah, that he had to serve for a while. I'll get you in a second, Evan. Uh, Peter, Peter was up first. Okay. Peter, Peter, I think your uh, your speaker might be a bit loud on your end because it it, uh, it seems to be uh, feeding back. Okay, is that better? I think so. Yes. Okay. Um, Father Cavadano, uh, his oh, course yes. for sainthood was um, started a while back, but <laughs> two years ago they the Vatican put a halt to it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Definitely. We definitely Very have to pray for our chaplains. And uh, yes. when when his his commander, whenever he would go into battle, yeah. uh, his commander would say, Well, you gotta take the fire off and your weapon. And his and he would respond to his commander and say, uh, my weapon is my rosary and my body. And he would never go in, we would never go into battle with uh, any kind of firearm protection, either from the fellow soldiers. Yeah, yes. We, I think when we did the American Saints, we did a, a a special on him. So if you'd like to learn more about Father Capadano, there's there's a lot of good stuff out there. You could go to our YouTube channel and his pictures. My brother-in-law would say that he served at the same time that he was in Vietnam. Oh, that's right. Wow. And they were 200 miles apart. And he heard of, of Father Cabadano and all that he did while he was serving in, uh, 200 miles south. In, 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 in. So what they would try to do, from what I recall the story, they, the chaplains, they, they wouldn't let them go like on the front lines, if that's the right word, but but he would. He and, went, he went yeah. with others. He went he said, I'm going with the boys. Was, I mean, he and then he, he was, went to tend to a fallen soldier and he was, he was the shot. Medic, the, the medic that was Father, uh, Father Leo, he was the medic. And uh, after he was, uh, Father comes down and was shot uh, in the hands. And then the medic was shot. Uh, and so Father Cabadano continued to go from soldier, and he took 27 sprays of, of bullets. Yeah. We do have one contract priest here in the area, and he is kept really busy with the funerals for the Catholic deceased at Arlington National Cemetery. Uh, he comes to us maybe one weekend a month for a mass, one of our three masses or something, but there's no way he can step in and take the service for Fort Belvoir totally. And and he is paid by the parish or the, we call it the parish, even though they don't call military uh, installation parishes. Yeah. So anyway. Thank you. God bless Thank everybody. You, well. And pray, we pray to Father Coppola. Very interesting, everybody. We Thank you. We pray for his cause and we pray for his intercession. Yes, Evan, your turn. I do have a friend that is a chaplain. Oh, nice. That's yes, neat. And he's my priest. He's your priest? Yes. That's beautiful. Yes. Okay. What's his name? Father Jonathan. Father Jonathan. Father Jonathan, we pray for Father Jonathan. Actually, uh, speaking of, uh, actually, speaking of the military, um, my grandparents are Navy veterans. Praise God! Yes. Awesome. Where would we be? Yes, and I, and I continue their service as a police veteran. Oh gosh! Oh wow! Yes. 
actually my my grand my grandfather is a police veteran as well. Gosh, you know, some people are just given that grace to, to serve in that way, you know, and what yeah. we do with thank God for our military, our first responders, our police officers, fire department. Yeah. Um, so those of you that have served in that way or yes. any way, God bless you and thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your families. All right. Okay, everyone, we are going to hop off and but we will be back tomorrow and we will continue uh, praying for our priests and learning more. I, I'm, what I'm very interesting to how Michael laid it out and to learn more about the chaplaincy. I mean, we don't think we talk about that. We did something we take for granted. And Helen, mm -hmm. thank you for your service yeah. and all that you do. Thank you. And, and all of you for everything that you're doing. So um, we love you all. Have a, have a beautiful start of your week. Keep praying for each other. Don't forget to spread the news about the movie. Mm. Jesus, there's you going? Tuesday. When? Going, I'm going Tuesday, Lord willing. Yeah. Um, sorry, I have one last question because you put out that, that email, say, you know, with news for the mm -hmm. June. And you said we're having so and so come talk about the movie, but you didn't say when. In the email <laughs> is a video. It's oh, listen, yeah. We've just, already you scroll did, down. We already we did the did, interview, and so the video is there embedded in there. Yeah. Okay, maybe yeah. I didn't scroll so, down far enough. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry for the confusion. Yeah. Yeah, it's in there. Uh -huh. So uh, we did talk to him, and then on the sixth, remember. Mm -hmm. Noon Eastern, we will have uh, um, the interview with Maria Mew, who is the blood sister, the biological sister of Sister Anna Ali, the stigmatist from Kenya. Incredible story. So I hope you all can join. Of course, it will be available later. All right. Okay. Yes. What time Eastern? on uh on on the sixth yeah okay on the sixth and it's in, it's in your emails you guys so you get our emails but it's at noon and, and i'll put another email out but it will be noon eastern and you'll be able to just kind of be part of the audience i don't think we're going to open it up for questions or anything like that they've got a lot to cover but it's both her biological sister who's spoken extensively all over the world about sister Anna Ali, and one of her good friends these two women travel together so, um, and on June 6th, it's so blessed. It is the anniversary of the passing of Sister Anna Ali. She died in 2012. So this will be oh, her wow. 12th anniversary. It just happened that way. I mean, we didn't plan it. Mm -hmm. So many miracles attributed to the intercession of Sister Anna Ali, y'all. So let's get together. Let's pray to her. She was very devoted to the priests and leading the priests and so I, I think it's by divine providence that we have all this happening at this particular time so we, we really look forward to that aren't you <laughs> i am <laughs> all right then. okay have a blessed evening stay safe keep praying love you all see you yeah, thank you for us. Uh, yes thank you evan we're praying for massachusetts that's for sure <laughs> David Jones signing off. God bless everyone.